two people are 16 kilometers apart on a straight road. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, being that there's a lot of uh, like this person's here and this person's there. I want to try and represent this with a diagram. It doesn't have to be beautiful, but at least I can sort of see what's going on. You'll see in a minute how important this is. So I'm going to draw, here's my road, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, in two colors. Yeah, so I'm going to do, I'm actually, you'll see why in a second, but I'm not going to go all the way to the end. I'm going to say, okay, let's put the slow person like here, and I'm going to, I'm going to label them the slow person you might wonder, how did I know there's going to be a slow person and a fast person? Um, it's because, um, for the next part of the question, um, when they're walking the same direction, they meet. So I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So here's a fast person, here's a slow person, right? And we said they are, what did we say, 16 kilometers apart, right? So I'm just going to put that distance in there. Okay. Now. They walk toward each other and then they meet at some point. Now, because I've got one of them walking slower, they're not going to meet halfway, right? They're going to meet sort of closer to this end, yeah? So I'm going to do something like this. Walks like so, and then the other guy, because they're faster, makes it sort of past halfway, yeah? So this is the picture of what's going on. Let's keep reading. It says, um, they start walking at the same time. If they walk toward each other, they will meet in two hours. Okay, so at this point, I want to put some information onto here, but I need to, um, I need to start introducing some pro rules, and that's what we're going to solve for, right? So I'm going to say, let the fast person, let's have them walk at a particular speed, and because it's fast, let's say F for fast, at F kilometers per hour, okay? Um, that's their speed, which is unknown at the moment, and then of course we've got the slow person. And I guess because I'm very original, I'm going to say they walk at S kilometers per hour, S for slow. Okay. Now, because in this situation, I know they walk for two hours, right? If the fast person was walking for one hour, how far, how far would he walk? Uh, the answer is he'd go F kilometers in a single hour. If I asked you how far he went in 10 hours, if he was walking that long, it would be not F kilometers, but 10 F kilometers. If he could walk at like five kilometers per hour, 10 times five would be 50, right? But I don't know what F is. If he's walking for two hours, how far does he walk? Uh, well, I don't know how fast he's walking yet, right? 2F. 2F, yeah. So that's how far this distance is, right? He's gone for two hours. In exactly the same way, uh, this slow guy, right? He walks to S. Right, good. Now from this, I could already write down one of my equations, right? If this length here is 2s, this one's 2f, they add together to cover the total distance. Yeah, very good. So what equation can we write from this? Uh, 2f plus 2s equals 16. Perfect. Excellent. So there's our first equation, yeah? And I'm going to give that a name. It's not enough information on its own, um, and that's why they give us this other piece of information. So let's keep reading. It says, if they walk in the same direction, so the distance between them is decreasing. So I'm going to draw another road now, okay? So here's my road again. Excuse me. They're going to start at the same spot. There's the slow one, and there's the fast one. But now, yeah, instead of going this way, this guy's going to get away, but the fast one's going to chase him down, right? Yeah, exactly. The catch-up is exactly right. Now, the question says, they will meet in eight hours, right? So obviously, he's going to walk further than this, right? So. It's not to scale, but I'm just going to draw sort of this long line. Okay, let's suppose that's eight hours. How far does the slow person walk in that time? This was two hours, gave us two S. So it's eight S, very good. I'm going to call that eight S, right? Now, how far does the fast person walk? Well, they're going to walk all this way and eventually catch up. And that's the meeting point. Is that okay? So I've got a meeting point here in the middle, and then I've got a meeting point over here on the side. The fast person's been walking for the exact same amount of time. So how far have they walked? 8F. 8, 8F, very good. Um, it's a longer distance because F is bigger than S. It's faster, right? Okay, now this diagram here also gives us another equation, but it's a bit trickier to see, right? What we want is two things like this and this, which are equal to each other. And when you have a look at this diagram, what parts of this are equal to each other? 
Well, see this 16 kilometers, right? It corresponds to uh, this distance here. That's right, 16 kilometers and then this distance as well. That's how far the fast person walks. But they meet at the same spot. So do you agree that this red line is the same as the black and the blue lines together? To, to, to uh, combined. So what equation can I write that, that captures that? What's the red line? That's for 8F. What's that equal to? Bingo. And that is a second equation from a second piece of information, okay? Now, from here, I can actually make both of these equations a bit simpler, and then I think you'll be able to sort of take it from here, right? Um, this first equation, right? Do you see a common factor I can divide everything through by that will make it simpler? Two. So that leaves me with F plus S. That's, uh, wait, divide by two? Is eight, very good. So um, I'll just call that one A, because that's where I got it from. This one here, um, I've got a different common factor. What? Yeah, yeah, you divided through everything by eight, which gave you the two plus the S. I'll call this two A. Okay. Um, and so you can see here, uh, there's a lot of things you can do, but it looks like I can substitute this straight into here. Are you okay with that? Because that F I can put here. So I'm going to even write that. I'm going to substitute two A into 1a. Is that alright? So let's see, instead of writing f, up here I'm going to write 2 plus s. 2 plus s, right there. Yeah? So I'm going to have 2 plus s plus s. Is that okay? That's equal to 8. Very good. Um, we, can, we can expand this, right? Uh, or we can collect like terms, rather. We can say 2 plus how many s's? 2s. Uh, subtract 2 from both sides. Very good. And so now I'm, I'm sort of there, aren't I? Okay. So this is, apparently this is the speed of the slow person, right? Yeah, so if that's 3, what would you, if you look at an equation like this, what's F? Or this one even. F is going to be 2 plus the slow person's speed, which is 5, right? So therefore F equals 5. And you could check it out, right? Um, in two hours, how far will the fast person go, according to this? 10 kilometers? And the slow one will go? 6. And same deal here, um, 8 would mean um, the slow person would travel 24 kilometers. The, the fast person has to cover this 16 and the 24, which is 8 times 5, that's 40. There's the 16 and the 24, okay? So, um, as we sort of mentioned this morning, right, the hard part of this is not really the algebra part. That part just kind of falls out. Right. Yeah, it's like, it's like working out from here, from the words, how do I then come up with two equations and then you're right to go. Um, it's worth pointing out, um, we did this by substitution. It's just as easy to do it by elimination. They're kind of parallel tools. So, for example, see this guy here? I could have written this as F take away S equals 2. And you can see I can add this equation to this equation. Do you see that? That would eliminate the, uh, the minus s and the plus s would just cancel. So I would 2f equals 10 and I get the same thing that I um, got before. Okay? So um, yeah, and it's worth saying as well, even if you don't construct the right equation, if you construct a pair of equations and you start working with them, you can still demonstrate some of the understanding we're looking for so you wouldn't get zero. Okay?